Hi, I'm Carly Reid from CX Today, bringing you all the latest news and conversation from the customer experience technology industry. Now, today I'm talking to Paul from Twilio and we'll be discussing Twilio Engage and the importance of personalizing customer interactions. Welcome, Paul. Hey, Carly. Great to be with you today. Looking forward to speaking. Great stuff. Thanks, Paul. So thanks for joining me today. How about we kick off with a quick intro? Tell us about what you do. Sure. So I run Twilio in the UK. And what that really means is, you know, I, I look after all the customer relationships for the base of customers we have in the UK that are using the Twilio platform. A little bit of background on myself. I've been working in software for oof, more than 20 years. <laughs> um, that's crept up quickly. And uh, I've been with Twilio just under just under three years. My role at Twilio has been really just driving the growth in the UK, working with Twilio's customers in the UK. Uh, outside of work, yeah, really enjoy uh, mountain sports skiing <laughs> and looking forward to doing a bit of that uh, as we come out of the um, pandemic. Fantastic stuff. Thank you, Paul. So tell us what sort of conversations you're having with your customers as we approach the end of 2021. Yeah, I'm really pleased to, to to start on this point. And what sort of cost conversations are we having with our customers right now? We, I, I think everyone's set by the context, Carly. And the pandemic, I, I think we're evolving into almost an endemic. And the the conversations have been driven by embracing more digital channels and adjusting to this digital transformation we've been going through. And, and now that that context has sort of set us on a on a journey, but we are at a pivot point right now. And that pivot point seems to be some customers who made a very early switch and really embraced digital transformation through the pandemic are trying to understand how they can take that to the next level. And other customers are realizing that the shift we've seen in consumer behavior is here to stay. And they're trying to establish what, what plans can they make for genuine transformation. Understandably, some customers have gone through the pandemic trying to figure out what, what, what is actually going to be the, 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 the next phase of normal, whatever normal is. And I think some trends are becoming. What, what is clear for both these sort of cohorts of customers and the conversations we're having is that they, they know they need to embrace digital transformation. There's a recognition that they need to build some differentiation. They can't just do the same as what everyone else is doing and win in the marketplace. And the final thing I think I'd highlight is we're still seeing this evolution of the sort of developer mindset in all our conversations. And if I just reflect on the conversations just in the last couple of weeks, most of them are at board level and most of them include on the Zoom call, someone from the developer community on the customer side. And where that's absent, you know, the COO is often talking to us about, hey, not just how can you help me provide the tool set for this transformation, but how can the community around Twilio help us become more developer orientated? So th these are some of the trends we're seeing in recent conversations. Fantastic stuff, Paul, and some really great points there. Thanks for sharing those with us. Um, so you guys have last week launched Twilio Engage, exciting news there. Um, what will this mean for the customer experience world? It's a good point. What is it going to mean for the customer experience world? Well, Twilio Engage is an exciting evolution from Twilio in terms of offer our offerings. On the back of the acquisition of Segment, what we're trying to do is democratize that personalized experience for all our customers. And I think we've all been on some of the world's largest websites or largest digital services, whether that's the likes of Netflix or Amazon, and seen that intense personalization. And our customers are seeking for this personalization for their own consumer journeys. And Twilio's bringing that to market with Twilio Engage, where we're providing a data up, data first led 
engagement platform, leveraging the Twilio segment technology. But we're also leveraging and pulling in all Twilio's experience and global reach on data channels to be able to bring the two together and, and offer um, a marketeer and our customers the opportunity to really plot a consumer's digital journey. Brilliant stuff. Thanks, Paul. And how important do you think it is to personalize every customer interaction? Well, I think personalization is the, the future, Carly. I, I think this is <laughs> this is where it's at. Is you know, no no one's going to be reaching out with with just uh, bland and generic messages. And I think all of us can recognize some of that in our own personal inboxes. And we know we want um, personalized content. And we know which brands are important to us. And typically, those brands are being framed more and more, not, not by the product, but by our engagement and our experience with those brands. And I think this is true from, from the sort of generic consumer um, brands such as utilities, all the way through to highly personalized brands that you might find in, say, consumer fashion. I think all of it is going to be still enhanced and transformed by this personalized journey. So, you know, personalized interactions, you know, we're, we're, we're going to go through this journey and a lot of our customers are looking at how they use our technology to personalize that journey. But I genuinely think it's the key stepping stone. If you want to build differentiation in your consumer engagement, you have to really understand how you can bring personalization to each and every interaction. Brilliant. Thanks, Paul. And how important is it to keep customers in their channel of choice, particularly post-pandemic? Yeah, I mean, well, you're you're pulling together a number of really important threads there, Carly, like post-pandemic and how important are these digital channels or the channels of choice? I mean, I I think a couple of customers have really shone a light on it for, for me where they're really highlighting, hey, if a customer wants to engage with us on voice, then we need to make that voice experience as personalized and as effective as possible. And at the same time, we are seeing, and just yesterday I had a conversation with a with a customer, you know, that they, they want to lean into messaging and yet they know they've got a cohort of customers who want that experience in WhatsApp. And what's important for them is to be able to provide the, the personalized interactions that we spoke about a minute ago, but to be able to do that in the channel of their choice. And I, I think this is the, the this is like one of the main crux that you have to get over in, in terms of building out your differentiation is to a large degree, the consumer is going to define the channel of choice. And what you need to be able to do is respond to that, but, but do so in a way that allows you to still track and create and enhance that personalized journey through the interactions. Brilliant stuff. Thank you, Paul. And I've really enjoyed speaking to you today. So thank you so much for joining us. Hey, Carly, it's just been great to join CX today. And thanks so much for your time today. Oh, thank you so much. And we look forward to speaking to you again in the near future. So that's it from us. If you've enjoyed our conversation, then please do give us a shout out on social. And if you're a CX fan and want to see more like this, then you can subscribe to our weekly newsletter at cxtoday.com. I'm Carly Reed from CX Today. Thanks for watching.